is the issue of the concession of our four airports. You are all aware, as far back as September 19 and 2016, this government rolled out the program called Aviation Roadmap, where uh, so many programs were rolled out that the government wants to achieve before the expiration of their two tenors. Among them is the concession of Lagos, Abuja, Potakot, and Ghana. And you are also aware that from the beginning, our unions resisted and said no to concession of our airports. And we gave reasons why we believe concession is not the right answer. That kept us moving, dragging, like I said earlier, protests, congresses nationwide. At the end of the day, we saw reasons that say, fine. Government insisted that they must concession the airports. We said no. We now should and continue to engage with the government. So many things happened within these five years or seven years. We participated after the consultation with our leadership that let us be part of the process instead of staying outside and protecting us constituted the unions we are represented. Our representation in that committee has been very helpful because at every given instance, every given, given meeting that we attend, we bring feedback to our leadership and a course of action is being taken. And that is why we'll be able to drag the process up to this moment. But where we are today, about three weeks ago, is that virtually they have nearly concluded the process. What remains now is the signing of agreements. And if you recall, over this period, our demand has been clear and simple. After we acknowledge the fact that, fine, government, we want to sell your property, go ahead and sell your property. But ensure that whatever is ours as workers of these agencies has been taken care of. That has been our demand ever since. And we have been engaging government on that for quite a long time. When the outline business case was brought out, you are all aware we criticized this. We went to National Assembly on the same matter. We had a series of debates. We wrote to the president, expose all the lacunas of the outline business case. Lastly, when they realized that yes, we have a point, they now said, okay, we'll keep this uh, observation aside. At the end of the final business case, all our concerns will be accommodated. Congress, as I speak with you, those demands have not been incorporated. And they are almost at the verge of doing the full business case. The full business case is the document that will give the mandate to whoever is selected as a preferred bidder to take home that document and start implementation. But we are still at a stage where contracts and agreements have not been signed. And that's why they said uh, labor issues and demand will be factored in. We have made our position clear and we still maintain that no concession will be concluded if labor issues are not discussed. Are we in agreement? Yes. We will continue to resist, we will continue to work hard and we want to fight it until all our demands are made. And it is for this purpose, Congress, that we want to